There is something about the outside of a horse that is good for the inside of a man. Winston Churchill. The relationship in which a horse and their owner engage is one that can prove to be among the most unique that one will ever experience. To those who have neither ridden nor taken care of a horse, it may appear to be all fun. However, those who have understand that it is much more than an enjoyable experience. They understand the maintenance that comes with owning one of these splendid yet time-consuming animals. Each of the following forms of care must be considered when dealing with horse health. If this can be accomplished, both horse and rider can achieve a positive and effective relationship. Nutrition is just the beginning when it comes to horse health, but it is essential. A horse's diet should be based on weight and activity level. The ratio of feed to horse weight can drastically affect a horse. In fact, an improper food to weight ratio can cause health conditions. Likewise, horses who exercise daily and heavily require more food than those who seldom exercise. Horses have very complex digestive systems that can easily be set off by certain aspects of their diet. A horse's large and small intestines are a combined 85 feet and can hold 45 gallons of material. But this long intertwining is delicate and prone to problems. Horses should also have access to fresh water at all times. There are three main food groups that horses need in their diet. The first is roughage. Roughage includes hay and grass and is a major part of a horse's diet. There are many different types of hay, but some of those that we find in Alaska include brome, timothy, and alfalfa, and each have different levels of protein. Grain is the second group, which includes, but is not limited to, oats and cob. Cob is a combination of corn, oats, and barley. Grain is a high-energy food and should be fed accordingly. Concentrates are the third type, and a good example would be complete. Complete is just what it sounds like. It is a pellet made of what your horse needs. It is meant to be fed in place of hay. Supplements can also be added to your horse's diet if need be. There are numerous different types, two of which are Millennium Gold and Sand Clear. Millennium Gold is a multivitamin with numerous different essential nutrients like selenium, which Alaska lacks. Sand Clear is made from psyllium husk. When this supplement combines with water, it forms a gel and removes the sand and other impurities from the horse's intestines to prevent sand colic. Along with feeding comes dental care. A horse's teeth can affect their dietary habits, and without proper dental care, they can actually become unhealthy. Courtney Proctor, a Solid Rock Ranch manager, explains the importance of equine dental care. So this horse's skull is a draft horse, so it's a little bigger than average, but it's a good example of some different dental issues. Horses have two sets of teeth. Their front teeth, which are strong, but not particularly sharp, and they sever or tear off whatever the horse is grazing on. So then they transfer that roughage, hay or grass, whatever it might be, to their molars where they grind that into a form where they can easily swallow it and digest it. So their horse is always grinding because roughage is their main source of food. So they're grind always grinding their teeth down. Horses' teeth grow continuously to make up for that, at least until the horse is old enough that they don't really have any tooth root left to grow. So as the horse is grinding, different wear patterns develop. And so on this horse you can see we have low points here, high point, low point, and then a missing tooth. And on the top teeth we have low point, getting higher, higher, very low, opposite this high point, longer, opposite this low point, and then a very long tooth here, opposite this missing front molar. So those wear patterns eventually impede the horse's ability to grind their food and then therefore digest it properly. So uh, an equine dentist doing routine maintenance prevents these wear patterns from getting so pronounced, providing a better flat surface for the horse to grind their food on. Dental care and feeding are two very simple concepts that can be exaggerated if proper care is not taken. Horses can take us further and deeper and do a great adventure than any car or ATV. Their versatility makes for absolutely exhilarating endeavors, which cannot be experienced elsewhere. Like an engine, they need the very best of care. Cheap and stale oil make for an unhealthy engine, just like less than quality care makes for an unhealthy horse. This is Kaylee Wilson from hawknews.org.